I buy that for a dollar. The first trailer for the remake of Robocop is rolled off the assembly line. The film stars the killings detective Joel Kinnaman as a new version of the robotic Detroit PD officer with a supporting cast that includes Samuel L. Jackson, Gary Oldman, and Batman himself, Michael Keaton. This time around, Robocop is the creation of a corrupt military defense company that has been contracted to clean up the streets of a futuristic Detroit. They try to control him, but that becomes challenging thanks to his unstable human element. There doesn't seem to be as much dark comedy as the original Robocop, but like that film, there promises to be plenty of social commentary about fascism, police brutality, and the military industrial complex. It's a big action, it's a big action movie, but there are underlying themes that raise moral and philosophical questions, and it's also very emotional. And for me, that's the kind of movie I want to see where there's something at stake. It's not just mindless action. There's something at stake. We care about these people. Dead or Alive Robocop is coming to theaters on February 7th. Then if you need an even scarier robot, the new Terminator movie is closing in on a director. Variety reports that Thor the Dark World director Alan Taylor is in talks to helm the new killer robot flick simply titled Terminator. I'll be back. Along with Thor, he's also worked on TV shows like Game of Thrones and Mad Men, but this will only be his second big screen project. Terminator is billed as a clean reboot for the franchise and will be the start of a new trilogy that'll target audiences for Termination in summer 2015. And Will Smith might be back to terminate some aliens in Independence Day 2. Earlier this year, director Roland Emmerich revealed that Smith will not be back for the upcoming sequel, saying that he was too expensive. Now speaking with Digital Spy, Emmerich says that Smith might be in the movie after all. Ah! That's right! That's right! They currently have a meeting planned to discuss the matter so anything can happen. There's no word on what caused Smith to change his mind, but it may have something to do with the fact that his most recent movie, After Earth, is one of the biggest box office bombs of 2013. One of the other biggest bombs of the year is White House Down, which happens to have been directed by Emmerich. In related news, Roland Emmerich has revealed that he's also planning to produce a reboot of his other big science fiction franchise, Stargate. The 1994 film has already served as the inspiration for three different spin-off TV shows, but Emmerich wants to make a trilogy of new big screen movies. He's currently looking for a screenwriter, and we'll let you know when more details are revealed. Now over to one of the oldest science fiction tales. It looks like Warner Brothers and Leonardo DiCaprio are sailing to the island of Dr. Moreau. Deadline reports that the studio is working on a new film based on the 1896 sci-fi novel from H.G. Wells. It tells the story of a mad scientist who creates animal-human hybrids on a remote island in the Pacific. I created you. The book has already been turned into a movie several times with mixed results. Hopefully the new adaptation will have better luck. Leonardo DiCaprio is expected to produce through his Appian Way Productions and we'll let you know if he decides to appear in front of the camera. Now, if I was going to splice my genes with an animal, I'd choose a dragon, and Game Maker Bioware is improving Dragon Age Inquisition by inquiring about what fans want in the game. Players will take control of the ancient Inquisition order and restore peace and stability after a cataclysmic event has plunged the world into turmoil. The combat system has been redesigned and improved using the best elements from the two previous Dragon Age games. The development team was able to determine which elements to bring back by asking fans what they liked the most. The big thing that I'm sure a lot of people will be exceedingly happy to see come back is tactical camera. The full view, being able to sweep your camera around the battlefield, get an overlay, but with the weight and purposefulness that basically says these are your abilities, you need to use them together as a team and take that direct control in order to really you know, dominate the battlefield. You'll be able to dominate the battlefield yourself when Dragon Age Inquisition arrives in late 2014. If five inches isn't big enough for all you iPhone users, Apple is trying something new on for size. Apple is rumored to be working on a new six inch version of its mobile phone. According to the Wall Street Journal, the larger device is currently being tested at Apple HQ, but there's no word yet if there are actually any plans to bring it to the market. The tech giant will host a special media event tomorrow where it's expected to unveil a new five inch iPhone. We'll let you know if any other surprise announcements are made. A 6-inch iPhone would be a direct competitor to Samsung's Galaxy Note series, which are larger smartphones designed to bridge the gap between phones and tablets. 